today I'm checking out the PAL 800 Gold Overdrive by Pedal Pal Effect. If you've ever played a JCM 800, there's something magical about that amp. It's got a little fizz, a little grit, a little growl. Uh, it's a classic sounding amplifier. And if you've ever owned one, you'll know exactly what I mean. One of the features of a JCM 800 is maybe you put a tomb screamer in front of it, but mostly you leave it alone. And it's a one channel amp and it doesn't have a clean. And your clean is your volume knob. And a lot of people are like, hey, this amp or this pedal cleans up if you turn your volume knob back. And that's true. But very few uh, kind of pedals or amps really do capture the magic of the JCM 800s. Uh, kind of mystical, kind of gritty clean. So to make this video as difficult as possible, in other words, instead of just making it sound even better than the pedal may be, I went ahead and uh, put some obstacles in front of it. So although I'm using my favorite guitar with humbuckers, I'm using a Fender Princeton amp without the reverb. I have it mic'd up on a 10 inch speaker. So what you're about to hear is just your Fender Princeton at a moderate volume level. In fact, it's number two, volume two, uh, through a 10 inch speaker. So I went ahead and rolled the volume back a little bit. And uh, let's take us back to where there was only just bridge pickups and ballads and it was. It's just kind of funny. It's that sound. It's that, you know, you get the, the raw grit. You're got a you're not high gain amp, but there's lots of gain and uh, it just cleans up. Another one definitely reminds me of that. It kind of like uh <laughs> So of course this pedal has a three band EQ. The feature set is almost like the original one and uh, it has bass, metal and treble with a presence control that happens right after the EQ, just like a regular amplifier. The only thing to note is the gain control um, really does kind of add some bass, some low end frequency. There's a master tone uh, control inside the pedal to help you align it to your amplifier. I haven't really messed with it because uh, I really like it out of the box. Now in today's day and age where there's tons of modeling products out there, uh, things that can simulate all kinds of things, um, it's not a big deal that there's a pedal out there that simulates kind of that Marshall sound. But what I like about this pedal is it does it so well that I feel like I can put it in front of any kind of amplifier. Like I said, I feel like my Fender Princeton is a low wattage, low kind of quiet uh, JCM 800. And what I like about it, and it's probably the MOSFETs in it, I'm not sure. But man, as I turn this volume up on the pedal, it growls even more. <laughs> And the best thing about this is it's handmade and uh, basically it's sub the $200 price point for, which is interesting for an artisan pedal. In other words, a pedal that's made by hand uh, versus a mass produced pedal. One of the other features that's interesting about the pedal is it has a three-way switch that was added to this one that's not on the silver one. And it gives you three tone variations. Uh, I'm kind of perceiving it as a darker to a brighter kind of sound. We're gonna start in the down position. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now here's the second position. This is in the center of default position. And this is in the third position, which is going to be uh, pushed farthest up from the floor. Here we go. I don't want to leave this uh, review without showing you some of the magic of the 800's lower gain settings. So we're going to go ahead and turn the gain down. And I'm going to go ahead and turn the reverb on the amp. So there you have it, the PAL 800 Gold Overdrive, a very convincing JCM 800 pedal. Uh, and I'm really curious to see what you guys think, so put it in the comments down below. Also, if you have one, let me know what your thoughts about it, because it's a small company, like I said, they're handmade, so there's not a whole lot of them out there yet. So it'll be interesting to see what feedback you guys already have for these pedals. As always, I want to thank you guys so much for your time, and until next time, know your gear.